Kalashnikov here uh, as the Tatars uh, playing in blue. Uh, yeah, two interesting civs here. We just saw the Gurjaras uh, go down to the Vietnamese Cav Archer. And yeah, Tatars are all about Cav Archer. So maybe we'll see something similar here. Uh, Tatars getting free Parthian tactics. Oh, free thumbring, excuse me. Free thumbring. Uh, which is tasty for their archers and Cav Archer as well. Um, and yeah, faster fire rate, 100% accuracy. Very tasty upgrade. Also getting nice eco bonuses with uh, pigs having more food on them. Or lasting longer, whatever it is. And when they build a TC, they get extra pigs. Which is tasty. All right. Um, but anything can happen here. Two of the very best players. Uh, yeah, two very strong sips. Let's see. Okay, gold back here for the Viper. Let's talk about the maps a bit. The Viper with, well, uh, yeah, a wood line back here, uh, which he's taking with a lot of villagers. And he's walled in all the villagers, small walls. Yeah, pre-walling for the Drush, which is nice to see. You don't see players do that very often. As, uh, yeah, we fast forwarded a bit through uh, Dark Age there, but we're in Feudal now. Um, doesn't look like anyone's taking any damage, no kills at all. Uh, yeah, let's talk about Nikov's map then. He has back gold, forward berries, but getting some buildings out in front to defend, so that's nice. As well, then his, his wood lines as well. So, yeah. Nice. Okay, Nikov arrives on the front now with a scout, a two militia, a spear, and an archer. Fletching is in for Nikov, but not for the Viper. As Viper's just going to be greedy here and just sit taking his berries, just like, this is fine, this is fine, don't panic. <laughs> Villager goes down, though. So, shades of the game yesterday with Mihai were very similar, actually. Where Viper lost a few villagers early here and then ended up losing a lot of villagers a few minutes later. But still being very greedy here with some of these villagers. If they're not being attacked, they don't need to run. And another villager will go down here, so two villagers lost for the Viper. On the berries, I'm not sure if that's if he thinks that's worth it. I'm not sure if it is. He's not getting much damage here either. He's only killed one unit, just the scout. I mean, if you're gonna kill one of these units, the scout is the best one, but uh, still not fantastic. Um, as Viper will chase this away, uh, yeah, obviously, his food eco is still okay. It's not like he's taken off berries and he has no good food income, he still has the trickle of food from the pigs and has the farms around the TC. Okay, 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 okay. Um, okay, second range now for Nikov. This is exactly what happened with Mihai. Just uh, committed into archers heavily in Feudal Age and got the win. Let's see. Sean, what's up? People still get eco upgrades nowadays? Yeah, I don't know. It's uh, very old school. How are you doing, Sean? I saw you were watching... Uh, the Viper Vinchester set. I saw your name pop up in the in the first game. I just watched the first one. It was crazy. Hope you're doing well. Oh. Okie dokie. What just came in? The armor for Viper. Okay, so he wants... He wants armor, so he got the armor. You can't get better insights into the game than you're getting on this stream, guys. Um... Yeah, maybe wants to tech into Skirmisher. Probably will assume by the numbers that his opponent is going for double range or has two ranges. And a good counter to that is to upgrade your Skirms and just make full Skirm. Um, Viper's still on one range, but he's making Archers now. Okay. Caught the first game and had to go back to work. Okay. It was madness. Yeah, it was It was fantastic. It was crazy. <laughs> I didn't catch all of it. I caught the start of it. Then I, like, I went and made lunch or dinner. Had a shower. And then I came back and it was still on. I was like, holy shit. Yeah. It was insane. Okay, Viper comes back to berries here and then immediately has to run away again. Uh, Nikov definitely in the lead here. Three villagers killed. Idle TC time. One villager for Nikov. Two for the Viper. So Viper even further behind here. Four villagers behind, really. As he goes for scale barding armor. He wants to make scouts. Drops a sneaky secret stable at the back. Let's see. Um... I made a new account to play Huns only, so I'm dreading some new bashing later. Nice. You're a smurf now. <laughs> Possibly smurf. That should be the name of the account. No. You have to do it. 
you want to go for a new account. It's unavoidable. Okay. Scout hitting skirmishers. Okay. In good value here as well. Um, all of this likely to be cleaned up. Nikov, like he invested heavily into skirmisher from two ranges. It's like, eh. Now you switch back into archer, surely. But he's just producing out of one range. Has a lovely eco behind this. Way, way, way ahead. But uh, let's see. He's trying to get up to uh, Castle Age. Coming forward with his skirm army. Uh, but yeah, Viper can survive this easily. Uh, just send the scouts in. And all of this has to go back. Okay. One's Huns only for aggro games. I have three accounts and one of them is for challenges. Ah, okay. Fair enough. I'm not judging. Um, one Huns only for aggro Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Ba -da -ba. Huns are Huns. Okay, so Nikov on the way to Castle Age now. Viper invested a lot into Feudal Age, and it felt like it came out a little bit too late. He wasn't able to stop from losing those villagers on the berries. He could have gotten out of dodge a lot earlier. He was just sitting there taking berries, just not moving when there was mayhem going on all around him. But anyway, let's see if he can do some damage now. Okay, uh, scouts run in. Has the plus one armor. Nikov completely open here. Spearman gets a clutch doink here on the... Nikov with the walls. Look at this. As the scouts run in under the TC. Can't get this gate down. But they stand still. Almost get picked off by the spear again. Oh yeah. Nikov really good at his quick walls as well. Um, definitely one of the better players. Obviously Viper is the best. but Nikov also good. Okay. Scouts running away now. Nikov with a big ball of... Not that big. A ball of uh, cross of archers and skirmishers. Which he will upgrade in Castle Age and with free thumbering, going to be pretty strong. Escorting these guys now with spears to protect them from the scouts and will be in position to do a lot of damage um, in Viper space. Let's see. Viper getting bloodlines on the way up. Maybe thinking about Shri Vamsha riders. Um, but yeah, let's see. Well, maybe actually Shri Vamsha riders against this amount of archers and skirms might be fine, but there's going to be a window for uh, Nikov to do damage here. As he needs to be patient, Viper's going to see the army and see that he's in Castle Age. So it's in Viper's interest to dive as quickly as possible um, before the upgrades come in. And he's going to do that. Okay. Thumbring is in. But uh, crossbow not in yet. <laughs> Mirko Sad. Hello. Welcome. Thanks for the follow. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, yeah, that was bad timing by Nikov. Basically, gave Viper an opening to kill his army. And now he has to go home with less army than he started with and without the upgrades yet. As he adds a knight. And yeah, that was really good for Viper. Definitely a mistake by Nikov there. Could have just stayed at home, waited. Didn't. I'm going to end up saying the same thing again. So let's move on. Crossbow upgrade finally comes in. Uh, now it's a very underwhelming amount of units and vipers in the castle age and is making Sri Bamsha riders getting plus two. Nikov still ahead on Nico. Um, dropping a second TC over here, but it's being denied by skirmishers and a scout. <laughs> Knight should help clean this up though. Um, no villagers go down. Okay. Viper comes in with one Sri Bamsha. It's dodging everything, then runs away. Gonna recharge that dodge mechanic, which is powerful, let's say. Broken, perhaps. Okay. Nikov gonna get this TC down. It's kind of just surrounded by hills, though. So if Viper wants to go for forward seed, it's no bueno. Uh, let's see what Viper goes for, though. He is adding a monastery. Okay, so just for the knights, maybe. Um, we see a camel for Nikov's. Okay. Okay, Shravamsh is getting some hits here. Now just going to run away. 30C out here for Nikov. He's idle on this wood line. I don't know what that's about. Oh, he's told the villagers to go build this, but there's no way out. It looks like it's open, but it's not. So these villagers are like, yeah, we can't walk through. Can't walk through between these trees. Sorry. There's a pixel touching. 
Anyway, uh, Shravamsha is taking fights against the knights, and Viper microing away the weak ones. Picks off the knight. Now we'll run away from the camel. Happy days. Da -da -da. Mirko Sad, how long has it been that you started casting? Um, March. March this year. February. February, March this year I started. Mm. It'll be the one year anniversary in a few months. Okie dokie. All right, crossbow, camel, knight forward now. Um, uh, uh, uh. Monk behind here, looking to convert a camel if possible. Uh, two monks, actually. Pretty good cast, though. Thank you very much, Mirko Sad. That's very nice of you to say. It's hard to know sometimes, because my, uh, my knowledge of the game isn't as good as it could be. But, uh, yeah. Appreciate that. Okay, um, it's a better fight for the Viper, right? And now he can just bring his monks forward, heal up his units, recharge his dodge mechanic on the Shrivamshas. Okay, TC out here on gold and wood for the Viper. So I thought he might have been going for forward siege there, but he's uh, not going to. Instead, he's going to focus on his eco. Probably going to drop a third TC now. Uh, coming over here with villagers. Probably going to drop that here. Yeah. Okay. Wheelbarrow on the way for him as well. So now he's going to switch into his eco. He is 15 villagers behind though, so still not fantastic. Tatars with a better boom, uh, getting those extra sheep with extra food on them. Definitely helpful. Um, oh yeah, Viper with the better military, but he's not going to use it just now. He's going to heal them up. Maybe take this a bit later and see what happens. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Viper may be going to try pick up some relics as well while he's at it. So, Viper happy to let this go late game. Uh, Nico probably happy to do the same thing. I'm not sure who's actually better in the late game. Ours, you want to get to Cav Archer, which can be good here. But against a massive ball of Shravamshas, maybe not. Keshik is also super good, but how do they do against Camels? Maybe not fantastic. Uh, Gurjar is getting that... Bonus damage, right? Extra bonus damage, 40% with their camels in imp, so yeah. Interesting. Can definitely be interesting. Um, let's see. Shravamsh is going to run in. Such a fantastic raiding unit. And uh, Nikov doesn't have enough here to defend. He's patrolling around with a camel. And the first hit does nothing. Shravamsh has run in. Run after the camel. And now we're just going to run away. Fantastic value Viper's gotten with these guys. I'm not sure. I don't. I don't think he's lost one of these guys yet. He keeps microing away the weak ones and heals them up with the monks and lets them recharge their dodge mechanic and just fantastically clean play by him, getting really good value for his units, really good efficiency. Okay, camels for Nikov just patrolling around in defense here. We're gonna look at stone because when you have map control, uh, the best players like to turn that into a big advantage by uh, dropping a castle. Or certainly if you have uh, the ability to force a fight, you can drop a castle as a way to force that fight. Okay, Shravamsha's run in, pick off a camel and run away. If they think they're taking a bad fight, pick off the camel and run away. Yeah, fantastic. And they're just going to clean this. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I mean, a few of them died there, but that seems decent to me. Frostbow have arrived on the front here. Ballistics just came in. Few villagers died there too, I think. Okay, monks converting. Doesn't really matter if they get converted. Um, as yet, yeah, Shravamsha Rider is still causing absolute mayhem in the back of the base. As, yeah, Viper just gonna dive on this with his camels. Has plus two. Uh, camels a bit squishy uh, against archers. They don't have as much pierce armor as a knight. Uh, but still, with plus two with these numbers, should be okay. Especially with the fucking Shravamshas dodging everything, so yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, and the extra speed as well, and these Shravamshas really helps <laughs> chasing down these units. Okay. So, yeah, now Viper has 24 army, Nikov on 9, so not fantastic. But Nikov with a substantial villager lead, 30 villagers ahead. This Viper is going to drop TC number 4. Look to catch up here. Um, oh yeah, Viper with the score lead. So, yeah. And Nikov just with a really beautiful eco. Really beautiful. Lots of farms. Tasty. Um, he's to wall, though. I think that's what he's going to try to do now. He's wide open here, so 
I don't know why he doesn't just try and wall this. Maybe he should move to stone as well. Um, there are a few hills between the players here. They're actually quite close. Like, this is a secondary stone of Nikov. This is one for Viper and this nice hill in between, which Viper is sitting on. Uh, another hill over here controlling a lot of resources. So we'll look out for those in the late game if it gets there. Let's see. Okie dokie. Monk's healing away. Um, Nikov moving out to wood here. Yeah, both players just taking a breath here. Uh, Nikov patrolling out here with some crossbow. Okay. Viper gonna run in. He's the camels. Still gonna run in. Maybe gonna try and take this hill. Yeah. The speed of these units coming in clutch there, getting a better position in the fight. And we can look at the HP down here, bottom left. And it's pretty even for now. And maybe this wasn't the best fight for the Viper as the monks. Did he delete that? No, got sniped by this crossbow, I think. As, yeah, first bad fight for Viper. Is it? Maybe not. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, it actually works out well for the Viper, but it was close as hell. And now Viper going to take the opportunity to drop a castle on this super important hill between these two goals. Yeah. So a really good play by Viper there. It was close though, honestly. I thought that was going to go the other way. <laughs> that Nikov was going to win that fight. In which case it would have been a uh, game kind of swinging away from the Viper slightly. But uh, he's on 95 villagers, so nowhere near as much as his opponent, but still a very good amount. And now he can take this gold safely. Denies this gold from Nikov. And yeah, Viper putting himself in a good position for the late game for sure as he's banking res to click up. Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Nikov going out here instead. Gonna find this nice hill with the gold and the stone. And yeah, let's see what happens. Viper healing his units inside the castle. Great efficiency again. Two stones out here. A secondary stone of Nikov and a... Uh, communal stone gold out here for Nikov as well so he's only on his main gold very heavily here it says he has 42 on gold where is he taking out here as well did he not spot his secondary gold come on Nikov how do you <laughs> that's really bad how do you not oh no it's not a secondary it's not a secondary never mind never mind sorry Nikov um uh, okay Viper going for a castle out here Camels will deny this. Scout denying it. Nice. Ramsher coming over trying to help, but uh, not so much. Okay, Nikov going for a castle in the middle here. Viper will be an Viper will be an imp first though. Um, so it's gonna be kind of sketchy. Again, this castle just fantastic. Be able to tread this down and put pressure on the front. Um, Kshatriya is coming in for the Viper. That all units cost less food, is it? I have to check that. I have to check it. Military units cost minus 25% food. Yeah. Okie dokie. Viper adding more stables. Okay. Wants to go for more Shrivamshas, maybe, or go full camel. Uh, doesn't have much Shrivamshas right now. Banking a lot of res, maybe, to get these some upgrades. Let's see. Oh, he's missing a lot of eco upgrades, actually, as he's getting conscription. Okay. Treb on the way as well. Knows all about this castle. Uh, yeah, being raided here. So maybe, maybe Nikov's superior eco throughout the whole game is finally catching up. <laughs> and he's in a good position here. Uh, Viper gonna go for camels. Okay, a heavy camel rider on the way. Plate barding armor. And yeah, I'm not sure if the Tatars have a good answer to this. Their camels are not as good. Their Keshik won't be fantastic. Nikov, maybe he's gonna go for camel archer now. He's getting, or not camel archer, cav archer now. He's getting chemistry, getting bracer. Um, but full camel bam from the Viper should be enough to take this, you would think. Anyway. Reb sitting underneath the castle. Very, very nice. Okay. Two Trebs on the way for Nikov. Let's see. Back here is more fights happening. As Heavy Camel will complete for the Viper. 
Uh, you should take this easy. Yeah, dominating. Nikov selling wood, right? 61 on wood. He's going for heavy camel as well, getting chemistry. Um, going for a TC out here on stone. Was he a bit late to a fort? I mean, he doesn't need a fort TC now. He has 156 villagers, but still. Viper gonna take stone here. Uh, has enough for a castle somewhere. Krebs are exposed. Heavy camel's not in yet. Uh, this might be the time for Viper to take a fight. Uh, as we do see the cab archer switch. Okay. But I really think this combination of Shravamsha Rider and Camel will nuke Cab Archer. They'll just get in so quick and then the bonus damage and yeah, just nasty. Really nasty. Okay. Viper taking a bad fight underneath the castle though. Don't like this too much. Okay. As this Trev just rolls into the middle of nowhere, that's a gather point mistake. Viper getting another castle over here on a nice hill. And yeah. Nikov's castle goes down. Tries to take out the Trebs, but it's too late. I mean, he'll get the Trebs, but Viper can just make more. And this is Viper's game for sure. Um, Viper now adding more barracks. Wants to go for pikes. That makes sense. Pike, cab archer. Just added five cab archers, then changed his mind. Full pike wins this for him, but Viper can go shacks, and it's done. So, yeah. Frontier guards. Is this extra attack on camels or something insane like that? Or extra defense? I think it's extra attack. Is it plus three for camels? I check it. Um, frontier guards. Camel riders and elephant archers. Plus four melee armor. Okay. That's, yeah. That'll be helpful. Plus four melee armor. Yeah, it would be kind of insane if they got extra attack on top of the extra bonus damage. Anyway. Um, Camo's gonna take out the stables. And Nico will have to go for the mother of all techs, which is here to get enough halberdier out on the field. He doesn't even get Eichmann, does he? Oh, he does. Am I thinking of something else? Anyway. He doesn't get the armor upgrades, that's what I'm thinking of, yeah. So, not gonna be fantastic. He's getting halberdier now, okay. But doesn't get the, uh, second or third armor upgrade for his, uh, infantry. So that won't be feeling fantastic, but let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, Viper getting another castle over here on this hill, which we identified a bit earlier. And yeah, he'll have safe stone, safe gold. And getting another castle over here, again on a nice hill between two resources. And he's just so good at identifying key hills and getting castles down. Really fantastic. And yeah. Albadir is in, but the Shack Rams are in. They have less base attack now, but they have plus one bonus attack against infantry and should be fine as a nice supplement to the army, especially when there's a choke like this. They do pass through damage, which is now 100% damage instead of 50. So yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. GG's cold. Yeah. That was long overdue. That was a cool game, though. Very cool game. Um, Viper just putting on a clinic in map control. Like, getting this castle was so huge. Like, and he just, it was really close to the fight that let him take this, but I guess he knew he was going to win it. Kind of crazy, considering he was 30 villagers behind for the majority of the game, and he had that terrible opening. Anyway, just Viper things. Uh, style points go to him, I guess. All right.